The Wiener dryer is ideal for drying wieners of various thickness and types. Since six decades, BS Engineering Corporation has been developing highly efficient dryers with constant improvements to make them energy efficient. This is a roller type dryer having a series of steel rollers through which the wiener passes from one end to another. In between, there are several heating sections. There are one or more cooling sections to cool the wieners to ambient temperature and prevent reabsorption of aerial moisture. Now, let's explore and understand its internal workings. First, the parts of the dryer. The dryer can be divided into two halves. First, the air space at the top with the blower assembly on one side, called the blower side and the heating coil on the other, called the coil side. Second, the conveying or drying zone at the bottom, containing pairs of rollers, jet boxes and the fuel stand along with sprocket to dry the rollers and convey the wieners through them. Let's see the airflow path inside the dryer. The propeller pushes the air inside the dryer in a swirling motion. The guide vane converts it to a parallel flow and directs it to the heating coil. Here, the air gets heated and under pressure and deflection flows down to the drying zone. Then, it flows through the funnel stand and the jet boxes. The hot air hits the wiener from top and bottom, causing uniform and gradual moisture removal. The moist air is sucked back by the blower and mixed with the fresh air from the dumpers below. The moisture is then removed through the dumpers at the top. This applies to all the heating sections. However, in the cooling section, the cooling fan sucks the atmospheric air and directly forces it, the wiener, through the jet boxes. The air is not reused. Now let's understand the wiener conveying path. The wiener is put on the feeding roller on each deck, keeping the wood grain perpendicular to the rollers. In the heating zones, it is pressed between pairs of rollers and pushed forward. En route, it passes between pairs of jet boxes, which guide it forward without jamming it. Finally, it comes out of the discharge side after passing through the cooling section. It always remains pressed between the rollers during the process. Hence, the machine dried. Wieners are not wavy unlike sun drying.